hi welcome to extendable hashing which is also called dynamic hashing the data buckets in dynamic hashing can be added or removed dynamically when the number of uh, input records are increasing or decreasing uh, extendable hashing used to splits or and combine the buckets appropriately when the da data size is increasing or uh, decreasing the hash function is used to produce a large number of values with two properties uniform data distribution and random data distribution hash indices are typically a prefix that is most significant bits in the binary value of entire hash value sometimes uh the may, we may use least significant bits of the binary value so we can use either msb or lsb of the binary value as a index so here the hash table is having a um, binary value as a indices so this is called a directory and a directory is having a uh, global depth here which is having a uh, one that's why we are having only single digit of the uh, lsb or msb and this uh, two boxes are representing the memory buckets the memory buckets are pointed out by the uh, directories uh, the uh, consecutive indexes indices can point to the same bucket also for example suppose here if you are having the uh, many indices so here um, same uh, uh, same index can point to the number of buckets like this also then uh, the features of dynamic hashing is uh, two are there uh, directories the directory is represented here in the form of hash table which is storing the addresses of uh, buckets as a pointers so here uh, this uh, this is pointing the bucket number 2 uh, so the pointer is uh, stored in the directory an unique id will be assigned to each directory uh, which may change each time when uh, uh, directory is expanding or shrinking uh, with uh, hash table buckets expansion uh, buckets in the sense already we know uh, which is uh, which is your memory uh, to store the a given input has the case uh, directories are pointing towards the buckets the bucket may contain more than one pointers to it if uh, if its local depth is less than a global depth so suppose if a global depth is here two the um, the bucket can have two values here like this so here uh, it may have uh, here zero uh, uh zero here it, it is also have one more value uh, right uh, for example uh, zero one right so here when we are taking the zero one the directory has to be expanded so it, it will do so for example assume it may have two values each buck bucket when your global depth is two when your global depth is two uh, our directory also will uh, expanding into or uh, 2 power 2 so glo global depth will be 2 power 2 now number of digits will be 2 so 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 like this we have to expand the given directory uh, some of the terminologies and the structure is represented in this uh, slide so this is the uh, given directory and the number of buckets buckets uh, with uh, uh, the directory size is 2 power 2 the 2 is here global depth uh, the directory is used to store the address of buckets the size is here represented in the form of uh, 2 power global depth uh, buckets are stored uh, storing uh, the hash the keys and global depth is here uh, associated with directories so uh, that is used to represent the number of bits which is used by the hash function uh, to categorize the keys and the global depth is equal to the number of bits in the directory id so you look at that global depth is here four so here which is having four number of unique ids uh, local depth is here associated with the buckets uh, only the uh, so here you look at that this is global depth of uh, 
first bucket global depth of second bucket global depth of third and four so the local depth is only associated with the buckets not with the direct rays and the local depth is uh, 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 associate with global depth uh, it is used to decide the action that to be performed in case an overflow occurs that means here uh, this uh, uh, bucket is uh, allowed to store two data okay two data as per the uh, local depth suppose if the local depth is less than or equal to global depth then uh, when i am uh, i am having one more data third data then i cannot store the third data into the bucket so overflow will occurs when overflow occurs then we have to expand the direct trace based upon the global depth so here it says the global depth is always less than or equal to the direct trace global depth so here bucket splitting is defined as uh, the number of elements in a bucket exceeds a uh, particular size so here bucket size we can mention here uh, like uh, two uh, three like that uh, if it is uh, uh, exceeding this given limit then the bucket is split into two parts based upon the directory's id uh, director expansion is um, applied when a bucket is overflowing director expansion is performed when the local depth of the overflowing bucket is equal to the global depth so we can do the expansion whenever the global depth and the local depth are equal when bucket is overflowing thanks for watching